YouTube, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Kobe Cuts. I got another video for you guys today. One of my homeboys, he came to me, he cutting off his hair. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did and how to execute a cut like that. We brought it down to wavelength, had to wash his hair and everything. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Kobe Cuts, hey, tap in. What's good? It's your boy Kobe Cuts. And this is my boy Ronnie, and we're cutting off his hair. I let him cut off his first piece of hair, and then I got right straight into it. See, we're taking our time cutting from the root. We're not cutting all the way down because we do want to leave the hair so we can be able to cut it down without tugging or pulling on the scalp. We're going to pick it out. It's a little dirty because, you know, bro hasn't washed his hair in a minute, but we're going to handle that. Now we're bringing it down to the length number two with the guard all the way open. So it's really like a two and a half. That's only so we can see any imbalances in his hair, any weird growth patterns he might have. Let's see my boy St. Lou looking at me back there. We're just getting it all down to the desired length, cutting off all that hair. And when we go over there and wash it, it'll be a lot easier to wash than having to go through all the tangles and stuff like that. Right now I'm just washing his hair, you know, being real calm and gentle, you know. I offer a, a hair wash service with all of my services if the client wants it. You know what I'm saying? I don't force people to get their hair washed, but some people need it. <laughs> but yeah, in this case, since he, since we were doing a big chop, he cut bro's hair and wash his hair. So. Now we're over here picking it out right after we washed it. Now we're cutting it down to a wavelength, which is one and a half, one all the way open if you want to get technical. And as you guys can see, his hair was still a little tangled after the wash, but I got it down. And then we're going to lay his hair down by putting in some mousse and then brushing that in because, you know, the hair is all over the place right now. And we're trying to make sure it lays down in a uniform pattern. Now that all the mousse is in there, locked in, we're getting it together and brushing it all the way in, making sure all that hair is laying down the way that I want it to before I get into this fading process. Then we're gonna throw a do-rag on and then blow dry it in place, just so the hair doesn't move and it stays how it's supposed to, how I want it to stay, I'll say that. Now we're getting into the neck taper. And we're gonna set our bald line in right a little bit below the bottom of the ear. And then we're gonna go in lever all the way open and make our first initial guideline. And we're making it about the fingers width. Then we put on our number one guard, open all the way, and then make another guideline. Then we're gonna close that guard. Now we got our number one and a half guard all the way open, going into that hair at the top. And then we're gonna put on our uh, number one guard again, detailing into that number one and a half guard. Now we got our zero guard, bringing this whole fade together. Slowly but surely. Now we have no guard back on. Detailing, detailing, detailing. Just getting it nice and crispy. Then I put that number two guard on just to make it flush all the way through. A little more seamless. And I'm coming back detailing with the number one and a half guard again. Then I put that number one by Gamma on there. All the way open, just detailing into all that thick hair at the top. Now we're going to get into the side taper. Following the same steps we did in the back, we're going to put no guard, all the way open, making our first initial guideline. And since it's a low mid taper, we're not going up as high. And now we have our number one guard on, all the way open. Then we're gonna close it, blending out that line, softening it up. And then we got the zero guard, softening it up some more, or trying to take it out. Now we close it all the way to get that line all the way out. And now we're just detailing with it. Now we got our number one and a half guard, all the way open. And we're just blending that into the top here, but we're not trying to take the taper up too high. As you guys can see, the taper is coming together, slowly but surely. And on this side, we're literally doing the exact same steps. But I'm going to just let you guys watch while I talk. <laughs> so, man, barbering, it's a cool job, man. I can't lie to you. I like it a lot. Man, because with this YouTube stuff, I don't really know where I'm going to try to go or what my goals are, but I know I will start dropping way more content. Just, you know, holding myself accountable and keeping myself consistent because I feel like 
this is another avenue to like, you know, another stream of income. And it's like, why not have multiple streams? Because one day I'm not going to be able to cut hair anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm going to use my YouTube as my diary to keep track of my barbering career from 2024 on. Because, you know, I, I was posting last year, but I wasn't really consistent. This year, I'm going to try to post once a week. Y'all got to hold me to it, though. <laughs> All my new subscribers and stuff from my shorts, just get right with me. But yeah, after we finish the fading process, now we're going to put these lines in, lining up behind the ear. As you guys can see, I'm getting it real nice and crispy, not pushing it back too far. I ain't trying to push it all the way in. But, you know, sometimes push back so you can see the little line is necessary, even though he did have a pretty thick, you know, line back there. Now we're getting into the hairline. First, I sprayed alcohol, then I rubbed it in just to clean any dirt, debris, oils off the skin, dry it out. We're gonna spray the hairspray and get it nice and stuck, you know? <laughs> Spraying with cool air just so I can get into the hairline process. Now we're starting in the middle, making our way to the left. Well, the right of his head to our left. And I'm just taking slow and steady steps over to the left. I'm not trying to do too much. Come back. Just tap a little bit to the right, you know, just making sure I have it nice and even and straight. You know, everyone's head shape is different. So it's like sometimes you have to come back over your work to make sure it looks the way that you want it to look. Now we're getting into this other side, going to the right, taking slow steps. Slow, slow, slow. Remember, the hairline process, you do not have to rush through it. Take your time because that's what makes or breaks the cut. Now we're making our C cut. We started at the bottom to give us a, a little, I guess a guide. Then we come from the top and then we just connect our two little reference points, making our C cut, as you guys can see. Slowly but surely this cut is coming together. Y'all see that? Uh, I taper in there. I go back and do a little detail work off camera, but you know, I taper in there for the most part. <laughs> Yeah, y'all see that C cup, nice and crispy, no enhancement. Then I come in with the pencil, just so I could like give it that pop. You know how women use concealer on their eyebrows? I use it on the hairline. And basically just to separate the skin from the hair and then give that more boom, like, you know, a pop effect. Like you can really see this lineup once you get out of my chair. Then we getting real surgical, lay them back, put them on my surgery table, you know. <laughs> and we getting real nice with that razor, you know. I'm getting right in there. Boom, look at that. And that's the cut, man. Satisfied client. That boy is happy. He ain't seen himself look like this in a minute. <laughs> Big chop for my boy Ronnie. Look at him. Y'all see that blend in the back? Ooh. Yeah, he was loving it, bruh. He was loving it. My boy finna have a baby, man. He said it's, it's time to turn in a new chapter. But yeah, that's the cut, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, do whatever you gotta do. Kobe Cuts, out.